Hello and welcome to Creekside Elementary School. My name is Laura Beth Hayes and I'm the assistant principal here at the school. Today we are hosting one of our bookmobile pop-up events for the summer and we are um, doing that in coordination with our Family Resource Center and our Family Resource Center Director, Ms. Sophie Newton. Today's theme was get ready, get set, read. And we have an obstacle course set up for the kids to run through and then they get to run a little race through our parking lot and earn a medal when they complete that task. Then they get to visit the Hardin County Library Bookmobile and check out some great books to borrow for a couple of weeks. We're hosting different events this summer to get our kids reading because we know that research says it's very important to keep kids reading in the summer, especially for fun, just to maintain those skills that they've worked hard to develop. So we hope that we will have lots of kids out today and throughout the rest of the summer.
Hello, I'm Dan Kruger with the Hardin County Public Library, driving the bookmobile. I'm at Creekside Elementary today, and in two weeks on July 11th, I'll be back at Creekside Elementary School and also at uh, Glendale Christian Church for bookmobile stops. Love to see anybody out there to uh, take a look at our books and check out any that you need to read for the summer. My name is Doug Beckhardt. I'm with Norton Children's Hospital uh, Prevention and Wellness. Uh, today we're doing a bicycle safety rodeo at Creekside Elementary. Uh, normally I go around to schools throughout Kentucky. I do it for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Uh, this is a free program. I will bring the bikes, helmets, I make more hairnets for other reasons. Um, and kind of it's a safety thing. I want the kids to first of all put a helmet on and then basically it's to follow the rules of the road. So. Um, like I said, I kind of geared for fourth and fifth graders, and I will bring everything necessary to do the bike rodeo. You know, the main thing is getting kids to put helmets on and following the basic rules of the road. So that's kind of the first step when riding a bike is to always wear your helmet. Hey, my name is Sophie Newton. I am with Creekside Elementary. I'm the Family Resource Coordinator here. Um, and we have, today we have bike safety here from Norton's Children's Hospital. They are just um, telling us all the tips that we need to know about how to ride a bike safely. And they've got a really nice course set up here where our students can access that and practice riding, uh, making sure they're wearing their helmets and all that good stuff. Um, we also have the bookmobile here um, where students can come and trade the books that they have previously um, got from the bookmobile and get some new books to read over the summertime.
I'm Adam Grimes. I'm with the Christian Motorcycle Association. We come down here today to uh, give a little education to the kids here about motorcycle safety, hand signals, uh, knowing which side of the road to walk on and which one not to walk on. I see that every day as uh, I go out into this uh, community. Uh, as many people that don't know which side of the road to walk on or, or your hand signs, right, left, stop, they just uh, they haven't been educated on it, so we took it upon ourselves to come down and uh, show the kids a little bit about some motorcycle safety and uh, hand signals and what side of the road to walk on. I'm going to turn left. I'm just going to stick it out and point. Stick your arm out. Like this. That means I'm, tur I'm turning left. Like that. Straight out. What do you think you do if you're going to turn right? What do you do now? It's Ready? With this arm. Ready? It goes like this. I'm going to turn right. Right? Yeah, stick it up. So this is left. This is right. This is stop. Right, left, stop. And that's how you, uh, your indicator, it's like a blinker on a car. But you're not in a car, you're on a bicycle, so you use your, your uh, bicycle indicators. Left, right, stop. So who, who could tell me what side of the road do you ride on when you're riding on a bike? Right. You're right? What's a, what's a way that you can remember? Which way you need to be? Okay. With the flow of traffic. If the cars are riding on that side, you ride on that side. Now let's say you're walking down the road. What side of the road do you walk on? The sidewalk. Well, no, if you're walking on the road. That's a very good sidewalk. You need to stay on the sidewalk if there's one. If there's not a sidewalk, what side of the road, if there's traffic, do you ride on or do you walk on? against the traffic because you want that traffic to see you walking you want that guy or that, that lady that's driving to look in your eyes so you want to look in their eyes coming at you that way if you're in the road or there's something there they can slow down for you but if they're coming in behind you you can't see them so if you're walking with traffic like you're supposed to ride your bike with you ride your bike with traffic yes that's why you have your indicators so they can see what you're going to do. So that way you don't pull out in front of a car. You're going to tell them, I'm turning right, I'm turning left, I'm coming to a stop. So it's just little things that, uh, that you need to stick in the back of your mind when you're walking down the road and you're like, I can't see those people's eyes. I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Get on the other side. That way they can see you, you can see them. <laughs> but if you're riding your bike, you ride with traffic. Do y'all want some, some gifts? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Who, want, who wants gifts? <laughs> that was an easy one, babe. Do you have any look. questions for me? I like questions. Have you ever wrecked your bicycle? Or I, bike? What I have you? wrecked a bike before when I was young. Oh, wow. I had a big burn on my leg right here. Mm, that's yeah, cause these can get very hot. These oh, that's really another thing I wanna, I wanna tell y'all about. If you, ever, if you ever see a motorcycle, you don't ever want to run up to it and start touching it because this is very hot. Yes. It'll burn your skin right off of you. Yes. Burn like you really that. Really quick. He's like, bam. My dad said to always wear thick jeans when you ride. Yes. yes. So you you dress for the slide, not the ride. Yeah. <laughs> so like in case you always have that, I might slide on this. I better not wear shorts and flip flops or my yes. hey dudes. I don't do it because that thing could burn your, pit, your skin. It, it you can. It can burn your. They're really fun, but they have to be respected. You know, they're loud. Has anybody heard a motorcycle? Have you heard one? Are they loud? What they sound like? Yes. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, it's Colin. Like I said, they're, they're fun if you respect them. I appreciate y'all's time and y'all coming out here. You sure you don't have any questions? No. No? <laughs> Thank well, you for sharing. No problem. 
Any Anything for the kids. Thank you guys for coming to our events here. Um, we hope you guys have enjoyed the bookmobile and reading this summer, as well as learning all about bike safety and all the other events that we have had.